What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to the show, Birdhouse Rockstar Show, guys. We are ecstatic to be here with you today. Um, as you see, I'm wearing my Philadelphia 76ers uh, starter jacket, and we were at the game last night, so you know, I lost my voice a little bit. Me and Kat were at the game. It's her birthday. What a time. We'll talk a little, a little bit more about it in Big Sports Talk, but before we get started, Michaela, what's going on, baby? How you doing? What's up, guys? I am so excited that you are on the show watching us right now, and just don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Oh, I love it. Guys, listen, big show today. We got a big show planned for you. Bella, what's going on, Bells? Hey, guys. My weekend was so great. Let me tell you all about it. So, on um, Sunday, All right, thanks, Bella. But it's Friday. We're going to keep the show going, and we're going to talk about what's happening this weekend coming up, okay? All right. So, guys, listen. Big show. We got out early. We were figuring out our light situation in the car. We One thing I'm trying to teach the girls is, is being resourceful, all right? What does being resourceful mean? It means using everything you have at the time that you have it, right? Not saying I don't have a spoon but figuring out how a fork could work, or vice versa, or you don't have a knife, but a, but a fork would work, or you don't have lights, but but, you're, but but your cell phone would work, right? Figuring out how to make something work rather than trying to find reasons why it won't work. Let me tell you, in life, you will be better for it if you figure it out rather than find reasons why not. If you figure out how to use a, a shirt as a, as a cloth or as a costume rather than saying you don't have a costume. If you have scissors, shirt, paint, and other materials, you have a costume, but you just don't want to make it yourself. And that's the problem with the modern world is that we get so used to consuming and buying everything that we use rather than figuring out how we can repurpose and reuse some of the things we've already, uh, 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 we already have. So, being resourceful is one of the things I want to teach my girls. I want to teach all my kids. I mean, I got three girls and my boy. Um, but but all my kids, I want to understand levels of resourcefulness. And I think it's even more important for girls to be resourceful because boys are naturally going now. Sure, the technology and modern world has ruined a lot of things for both uh, genders. But it's important for girls to be resourceful because they can add a lot of value to their families and to their kids into themselves in the future when they are the ones being resourceful, right? They can be helpful and think critically about, wow, why can't we do it this way? I like my kids to uh, always consider options and questions. I encourage them to ask me questions and be curious. And when they ask me questions, I respond pretty good because I like answering them. So, you know, it's no, it's no question that you can't ask. Anyway, Went on a tangent. I love these girls. I love how resourceful we've been uh, with the show, uh, with the conditions, in the car, with the twins, with the posting. It's very, very tough. So, guys, support the show. Like, comment, sub subscribe, join our community, and, and just let us know what you like on the show because it does take a lot of work to put this together for you. We love that you're here. We love that you're watching. We love doing the show for you. And it's a fun thing to do. And I'm teaching the girls a lot of things from the production of the show, but we also have a lot of fun. So thank you all again for watching. Let's jump right into some big sports talk, guys. Big sports, big sports talk, guys. What's going on in the sports world, Michaela? Well, I just heard from my dad that the 76ers won last night. Oh yeah. And they were in the front row. They had good seats. Oh, they yeah. were literally on the floor. Oh yeah, that's correct. And. My dad was on TV. Cool. And, Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. The Eagles are playing tonight. Eagles are playing Sunday, baby. Oh, Sunday. Big game, big game Sunday. So, thank you for that report, Michaela. That was great. Yes, all the things she said. I'm just gonna say that was true. We were at the game last night. Big win by the Sixers over the Raptors. Me and mommy were on the floor. It was pretty cool. Phil Pio, shout out to Phil Pio. We uh, got a call from Phil Pio. He saw us sitting there. 
text me while I was sitting right there. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm at the game. You know, asked him about the game Sunday because I know he has season tickets. We're going to be down there, guys. Big game Sunday. Big, big, big game. I mean, there's no bigger game at the link this year for sure. I mean, that's hands down until we make the play. And even then, it still might not be the, as big as this Cowboys game coming up because, uh, you know, it's the Cowboys. As much as I don't appreciate uh, uh, their fans and, and, and their team at large, you know, it's always a tough game. They are our biggest rival in the league, certainly in our division. All right, we're seven and one. Last year, we had a tough go of it down in Texas when we needed a game. And uh, Jalen was resting up because we had already won 13 games. Uh, but we needed one more to clinch everything. And, and Jalen came back that last game of the season against the Giants in a pretty tough game and won it. But, you know, Jalen comes through when you need him. But we had Gardner Minshew in there playing the, uh, I think it was the um, first the Cowboys, then the Saints. And we lost both games. Now, sure, they didn't matter in the big scheme of things as long as we won one of those last three or four games. But we needed Jalen to come in the last game and do it. But here we are up against the Cowboys in Philly on Sunday. It's Mommy's birthday on Monday. So big day, big weekend for Eagles, for Sixers, for us, for the birds. All right. You see, I'm wearing my Sixers jacket, guys. And I wore it today because I wore it last night, but I figured it'd be festive for the show. And, you know, something to talk about. So, you know, Kat really loves the jacket. She wants one just like this. I love it too. And the fact that we were on the floor and I had my Sixers gear on felt pretty good. So, um, fun night, man, fun night. I gotta tell you, we had a great time sitting down there, uh, like right in the action. You feel like you're, you feel like you're at LA Fitness or at Lifetime watching, watching a pickup, uh, but a really good pickup game, a professional basketball game. So anyway, big sports talk. All right, we love it. Eagles, Sixers. All right, Bird Gang right here. Bella, what's going on, Bella? I'm just asking, how you doing, baby? I'm doing great. All right. And next week, next Monday is Mom's birthday. Oh, yeah. And um, Brittany is coming over, so stay tuned. I hope stay tuned, baby. We'll stay tuned. Um, let's go. And um, I was going to do, since it's Friday, I'm going to throw a little, little different mix in there. I want one of your pledges, guys. I want it really good. I want you to pick the one that you can hit, the one you know. You can hit it, all right? Okay. And I want you to hit it, all right? I want you to dedicate to somebody briefly before we get started, and then hit the one you think that you are going to do the best at, all right? Who's up? You up first? Let's go. Which one? Tell, tell, tell us which one and who the dedication that I want you to hit. I'm going to be dedicating my Pledge of Allegiance to Brittany because she babysat us last week and... Um, she cared about this. This is a big deal, big deal. Yep. All right. Let's 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 hit that Pledge of Allegiance, baby girl. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to this republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. All right. I would say she hit that one. All right, guys. That was that was that was that was delivered perfectly. All right. I mean, you can't really say anything about it. That was, that was pretty good. Bella, which one are you gonna hit? I want you to hit it though. Like, you, you gotta hit it. Pick the one. All right. Hit, pick the one you're gonna hit. I'm So, we got the affirmations out of the way. 
and we already talked about big sports talk. Oh, I forgot about my bracelet, guys. This was pretty cool. They, they give you this if you're going down to the floor. Um, if you're going all the way down, just I guess they know who's who down there. But, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I told you I lost my voice a little bit in the winter. The change of season's giving me a little unwanted congestion. But anyway, as we move forward, guys, listen. We have been thinking about Waldron, the Centennial, the Gala. It's a lot to it's a lot to be thankful for, a lot to be grateful for, but a lot to think about as our school uh, goes into the next hundred years. As we celebrate the past hundred years, we got to thinking about Waldron's mascot, Stripes, the Tiger, and. You know, I wanted to ask Michaela what she thought. We've been thinking about tigers and stripes and, and Waldron's mascot. What's going on with stripes? Well, hey guys, I'm Michaela Bird and I go to Waldron Mercy Academy. And I've been thinking too, like, why is stripes a tiger? Wait a minute. Hold on. Stripes is a tiger. He's a human. Wait, Bella. Stripes is a tiger. Okay. Have you seen a tiger? He's he's got stripes. He's orange, and the mascot for Waldron is a tiger. It's not a human. They just they just have a human be the mascot so we can say hi to it on campus, right? So anyway, guys. Because Bella, wait, Bella, think about it. If it were a real tiger, you could have a real tiger on campus. You'd have, to, and kill you. <laughs> You'd have to calm the tiger down, Bella. Yeah, of course you can't calm the tiger down. That's why they use a person to dress up like a tiger. But Stripes is a tiger, Bella. You got it? I don't know what made you think Stripes was a, like a human. Doesn't he look like a tiger? Yes. He's standing up. <laughs> that, Which that tiger is... would stand up? That that is that is true, but but it still doesn't change the fact that stripes is a tiger. tiger that that's that's true. No, I'm just going to in here and just going to make. But no, um. So yes, yeah, so Michaela, back to the story. Yeah. You were thinking. I was thinking. Why? Why a tiger? Yeah. And Now, Miss Flynn, who's Miss Flynn again? Um, Miss Flynn is um, the treasurer um, of the school, and she really, really helps me, and she's at the game. And she's been there for a long time. A long time. She knows so much about Waldron that who else would you ask? Yeah. Right? You gotta ask Miss Flynn. So you went to Miss Flynn's office, and you're, you're asking her about the, 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 about the, the history of the, the mascot, right? chose a tiger because they're mighty and strong and they always finish the race whether they're in first or eighth place okay. but here's a funny fact too like i thought they chose a tiger because they love tigers like why not a horse galloping through the school <laughs> on halloween night getting candy saying trick or net <laughs> and so I've been thinking like they chose a sheep like 70 hundreds 200s years ago and this is a sh this used to be our mascot a real sheep oh wow and a football player with a foam helmet on the inside and outside because they didn't have hard or plastic helmets um in the olden days they had foam helmets so this is the sheep, and this is the football player. Well, yeah, and I was surprised, and I said to Miss Flynn, that was a bad choice. <laughs> Good thing you chose the tiger. I'm glad we're at Tiger 2 now. This is, uh, we, we love stripes. We love the mascot. I love what you said about why Waldron. 
chose the tiger and the attributes of a tiger. If you had to ask me what, who my, what my favorite animal was, it'd probably be a tiger. So. <laughs> so, like, it's very fun. It's really fun to ask, um, like, your teacher some stuff about the school. Like, I'm at, I asked Miss Gannon, and she didn't know a thing about it. And I'm like, <laughs> she said, how, how about you go ask Miss Flynn? Uh. And I said, okay, I'll go ask Miss Flynn. So I didn't get a chance to talk to her. But finally, I got to talk to her. And she finally printed out. That is fantastic. So that is a sheep? Yes. And that used to be the... <laughs> the used... football player was um, feeding the sheep. Yes. Wow. Guys, what a history lesson on our, our school, uh, Waldron Mercy Academy. We love the school. It also used to be a boarding school for mm. boys. Okay. So yes, that is true too, right? For uh, years, it was a boarding school for boys, and then it was only a boys school and then I think about 30 years ago maybe 25 years ago it became co-ed and started to admit girls to the school and now it's a co-ed institution that goes up to 8th grade for boys and girls which is fantastic because we love the school we love Waldron, we love everything about it so guys the centennial, oh we got light down here alright, the centennial celebration was fantastic uh, we're still celebrating, but we had a gala last Saturday. Uh, it was a fantastic event, and I want you guys to support the gala by going on social media and posting your pictures and continuing to discuss the gala. Um, and we look forward to more, more celebrations for Walden's 100th year. But that was a great story, Michaela, uh, with the sheep. I'm looking at that sheep there. That was pretty cool. And now we got a big, strong tiger as our mascot, and we love it. So, guys, great show, great weekend up ahead, guys. Like I said, we got mommy's birthday, big deal. We got Cowboys, we got Eagles, big deal. We just came off the Sixers game. We were sitting on the floor down there, another big deal. All right, tonight. We're going we're gonna to just stay low here just because we got a big weekend and we love to spend some time with the girls and the babes. Uh, and it's Friday. We love Fridays to be able to sit back and, and just, um, you know, decompress from the week. Um, tomorrow, depending on our babysitting situation, me and mommy are going to be headed out to get some nice dinner. Uh, we're probably going to have a short um, to get some dinner. And then we are going to the game Sunday, big game. Uh, Sunday and then Monday is, is uh, Kat's birthday so we're going to do something cool Monday and then back to it guys so back to it I want you to know I'm talking about 21 holidays I haven't introduced it on this show but you know when you feel yourself uh, celebrating too much you have to put it inside of a framework to understand how to come back to your normal life and sure you're going to have times during the year that you need to celebrate and there's no excuse around it right can't not eat anything at the Sixers game or eat cake or, you know, it's my wife's birthday, so I'm going to have fun. But at, at the end of Monday, we have to get back to our running and our lifting and our eating well. So anyway, I go on a tangent here. I want to let you know, check out my page, check out the 21 Holidays uh, uh, program. We're going to be talking about it a lot more across our platforms. But anyway, guys, listen, we love you. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to, to subscribe. subscribe. Guys, listen. <laughs> you are not popping, guys. If you don't subscribe, comment down below. Join our community. Have a great weekend. We had a great week. It was Halloween. It was All Saints Day. We didn't have school Wednesday. <laughs> we got mommy's birthday. We got the Sixers game. We got the Eagles game. It's a big week in the birdhouse. We love you. Stay tuned and stay safe this weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Have a great week. It's okay. Oh, picture. Peace out. <laughs> All right, and bye to the sheep. Bye to the sheep. All right. Bye. 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 Peace. Peace out.